amazing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Nice hey, what's up, moment. Hey, ben. what's up? Hey, wow. You guys uh, look a little bit different than you do uh, on a. Uh, Thank screen. you. And we need to hear. We that. appreciate yeah. that comment. Uh, I especially yeah. appreciate it. I, I know Tyler looks different, but that's kind of you to say to me. <laughs> Sorry, before you start, Ben, let me interrupt. Um, so oh, you, no have, you have seven minutes. I'll count, start counting you down at three minutes. Cool. All right, and you're ready to go. Cool. Hey, like I was saying, you guys look a lot different in person than you do uh, in your characters. Thank you. Thank you. It's good. It's it's good to hear for you, especially Tyler. I imagine it is. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the overalls aren't aren't really flattering for anybody. I mean, it's oh not... man! Oh, I gotta tell you, those friggin' <laughs> Tyler would disagree, but <laughs> I would say. Those overalls are some of the most uncomfortable pieces of clothing that I've learned to love. I guess I'll, I'll put it that way. But uh, initially, man, I, I was getting everybody's overalls. I was wearing Tyler's some days. Sometimes I got Pat's, you know, the really tall skid with the vapor yeah. mask. You know how tall that guy is? You know how big his overalls are? I was getting his someday. Like, well, and you gotta wear that like the choker thing too. Oh, so. let me, we have gone through some choker iterations. <gasps> Tyler's broken that thing off my neck like three times, I think. We had to keep switching it out for a stronger joker. I've got a, I've got a bracelet too that's like kind of sharp and occasionally when we're getting too close, I'll just slice his neck up. Just blood. It's like the scene ends and like blood is gushing out of my neck and Tyler's like, what's going on? Why are you acting like this baby? Like, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Cradling my neck on the like ground. The bleeding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you guys seem to be having a really good time. I mean, you're kind of we the... Are. I don't know if you're the the bad guys of the show, the, the villains, the likable losers. I, I'm not sure where you're at. Uh, we prefer uh, anti-hero. Um, anti-hero, are... <laughs> okay, that's, that's a better word. We're like Spawn, kind of, you, you know? You, like... the show, you've definitely uh, progressed with the, the yeah. as the seasons have went by. Uh, you kind of, we, I mean, we, you uh, guys have changed. The first, the first season, the first two seasons, I, I would joke with Jacob, the director, writer, uh, that Stuart and the Skids were the evil villains of Letterkenny. So the first couple seasons, we really did think that way. And it was a yeah. fun way of approaching the scenes and especially the characters of, of the Skids. We, we consider yeah. ourselves the evil geniuses. And those are just guys who are spending too much <laughs> we, time. We still it. consider ourselves that, but. Well, exactly. <laughs> but then we kind of went through a phase where we were very clearly the underdogs and like, uh, you know, uh, not picked on, but like the bottom of the, hierarchy so to speak yeah. and uh recently they've included us they they invite us to modines now we get to sit at the same table of that as them and it's uh it's nice that we are uh, it feels good yeah it feels good to to share a beer and, and to have somebody clink your glass who isn't just tyler <laughs> like it's nice to have someone else clink my glass for the shot i'm like oh. now now you're definitely going to be uh your skits for life i yeah. mean we're not going to see you guys you know uh you know, head hit to the root store, get some, you know. Probably not. Who knows? I I was, was, but you know what? Stuart's going to be uh, the mayor of Letterkenny. 20, 20. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I would vote for you. I will vote for you in a heartbeat. You can't that would me. actually be, that would be a really good, uh, that would be a good story. I think so. Change, change it around, like, you just uh, run. Stuart is very much a politician, I would say. And just do That's all the vibe. You do a whole episode of all the skeletons in his closet. It's like, oh, don't forget about oh. this. Don't forget about this. Don't forget about this. Don't forget about this. It's going to be a, a five-part episode. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Maybe he's not the right guy for the job. <laughs> <laughs> now, are, are you guys, I, what I found fascinating about the show is the fact that I find people who are just discovering like the show is like brand new. Mm -hmm. are, do you guys come across the same thing? I mean, I, they said Detroit, I actually live a little bit north. I'm right on the U.S. Canadian border. I used to go to you in Windsor. You in Windsor? Is that where you're at? Uh, yeah, I used to go to Windsor all the time. Sarnia, uh, London, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. the Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, all those places, you know, and and follow the hockey and and all those good stuff. And so, is it crazy that this show still feels like brand new for people? And then they're like, oh my gosh, the show's been out for you know nine seasons now. I mean, you guys exploded our exposure. America's crazy, right, Ty? Like, it's just... Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I still get people DMing and tweeting and texting saying exactly what you said, Ben. Like, I just discovered the show. Yeah. And I, I finished it all within three weeks. 
And it's a, it's a neat thing to be able to do when you're introduced to a new audience. I mean, America now, it's been a few years, but we're hoping to continue to expand to other markets. Yeah. And I feel then, like Hulu's really embraced us recently, though, to, to yeah. show that we exist there. And it's nice for fans, too. Like, I'll speak for myself, like for a musical artist or for a television show, even if I find one that I know have three or four seasons prior or three or four mm -hmm. albums prior, and all of a sudden I'm introduced to this artist or this show and they've got a huge back catalog so it's nice for for new fans because they're introduced to maybe this ninth season but they get to watch the 60 episodes prior totally i always felt for the people who started watching the show day one because they had six episodes and then they had to wait a year for six more yeah <laughs> so i was like oh it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a wait <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh that's that's awesome yeah i know the detroit area you know because we do we have, love Detroit. Just gotta we let have you an know, we love it. Well, we appreciate we appreciate the love, man. It's uh, you know, you either like Detroit or you don't. It's weird talking to people who don't know anything about Detroit. They're always so scared. Oh. Like I'll talk to my friends in like you know the West Coast or, or Texas or something, and they'll be like, Detroit is just frightening. No, like, you guys are a hub. You guys are the artists' mecca. You guys are the future yeah. of of where where art goes to flourish. Yeah, beautiful it's, space. You know, it's, it's definitely a, it's a, it's a, it's a blue collar driven, very creative, you know, and uh, don't mind getting dirty. And, uh, you know, yeah. it's just kind of a rough and tumble place. So, uh, so we really love yeah. it. And ben, it's the, the anti-Hollywood, you know. The crowd at the Letterkenny Live show in Detroit was unreal. We, we walked on stage and they blew the roof off the place. Like it was so loud. So I've been, so been saying was, all so. week. Oh. top three moments of his life yeah honestly, it, was. it was like yeah. it was the energy was just incredible they laughed with us they called out the jokes before we said it then we said the jokes and then they laughed yeah. with us again when they uh, introduced jared at the end of that uh show it was like this it just it just felt it was emotional it was so it was emotional rough. it was yeah. like you know as a canadian show there's this stigma that like you know Canadian shows are lesser than American shows and this whole thing that we've kind of been like built we with. feed into it for sure yeah. and, then, and then we go to America and to have the the audience open their arms so freely and be so supportive of our show even though we're very very Canadian it's it was really heartwarming and like Evan said well, it was yeah. an emotional night well I really appreciate you guys I I, I love uh I love my northern brothers they're up there you guys are uh, great uh evan tyler thank you guys so much and, and continued success here with the uh, show and everything else you guys got going on thank you thank, thank you. you thanks ben. thank you for having us bye, Take care. bye thanks thanks ben um